Merry Christmas. It's obvious that much of the merriment that usually goes around this time of year is absent. We've been distancing, isolating, perhaps even quarantining from our faith community, our families, our friends, and also from some of the activities and experiences that have usually defined this season for us. It's our hope that this service of lessons and carols and prayers reminds you of that which is intimately near you, ever present, your God and his love, for he is Emmanuel. To us a child is born, to us a son is given. God is with you. And we're so glad you're here with us at Bethany. I invite you to listen, to receive, to be blessed by this service. And as there are 12 days in Christmas, you can do this service many times. And so at least on one occasion, you might wanna go to the website, print out the PDF of the accompanying lyrics and sing along with us. We're so glad you're with us. Once again, welcome to Bethany. God, Heavenly Father, we praise you for so wonderfully creating us, and even more so, for so wonderfully restoring us 
in Christ. Your Son came to share in our humanity and our weakness, that we might share in his glory and life. Receive now our thanks, for we have come to welcome him and adore him, Christ the Lord. Isaiah chapter 7. Again, the Lord spoke to Ahaz, Ask the Lord your God for a sign, whether in the highest height or in the deepest depth. But Ahaz said, I will not ask. I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Hear now, you house of David. Is it not enough to try the patience of men? Will you try the patience of my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and you will call him Emmanuel. Emmanuel. 
Almighty God and Father of light, a child is born to us and a son is given to us. Your eternal word leapt down from heaven in the silent watches of the night. And now your church is filled with wonder at the nearness of her God. Open our hearts to receive his life and increase our vision with the rising of dawn that our lives may be filled with his glory and that we may reflect the brilliance of his peace who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Are you there? Are you listening? Do you care? Did you plan this? Oh, great God. Oh, great God. Savior of the nations, come fill this world with grace and love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When all the world is torn apart And victory remains with God Hallelujah Hallelujah Will there be rest? You are here You are listening And you've made forgiveness you are here you are listening you heard more and we with us you make all things new God you make us new world with grace and love, hallelujah, hallelujah, when all the world is torn apart, victory remains with God, hallelujah, hallelujah, there
Isaiah chapter 9. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as men rejoice when dividing plunder. For as in the day of Midian's defeat, you have shattered the yoke that burdens them, and the bar across their shoulders, and the rod of their oppressor. Every warrior's boot used in battle and every garment rolled in blood will be destined for burning, will be fuel for the fire. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government, and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. The celebration of your birth resembles you, Lord, because it brings joy to all humanity, the high and lowly, Elderly and young alike rejoice in your day. This feast is celebrated from generation to generation. Kings and emperors pass away, and the festivals to commemorate them soon lapse. But your day will be heralded until the end of time. This day is a pledge of peace. For at your birth, heaven and earth were reconciled. For you came from heaven to earth on that day, and you forgave our sins and wiped away our guilt. You are light for the blind, a cup of living water for parched souls, and you are the bread of life for those who hunger for righteousness. In the winter when trees are bare, you give us the most succulent fruit of the Spirit, and in December, when seeds are hidden in the soil, the staff of life springs forth from the virgin's womb.
Micah chapter 5. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over my people Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. Therefore Israel will be abandoned until the time when she who is in labor gives birth and the rest of his brothers return to join the Israelites. He will stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they will live securely. For then his greatness will reach to the ends of the earth, and he will be their peace. Sweet child of Bethlehem, put into our hearts and the hearts of all men and women your peace, the peace for which we sometimes seek so desperately, yet which you alone can give. Help us to know one another better, to live as brothers and sisters, children of the same Heavenly Father. Awaken our hearts to the dawning of your day. Enlighten us with love and gratitude for your goodness and reveal the brilliance of faith in all we do and say, Amen.
Hebrews chapter 1. Long ago, and at many times and in many ways, God spoke to our fathers by the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son, whom he appointed the heir of all things, through whom he also created the world. He is the radiance of the glory of God and the exact imprint of his nature. And he upholds the universe by the word of his power. After making purifications for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. Let all Christians rejoice, for Christ is born. Let the just rejoice, for righteousness is born. Let the captives rejoice, for freedom is born. Let those who are free rejoice, for liberty is born. Let the lonely rejoice, for abiding presence is born. Let the children of God rejoice, for God's own Son is born. Titus chapter 2. The grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. 
It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age while we wait for the blessed hope, the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own, eager to do what is good. God of love, Father of all, the darkness that covered the earth has given way to the bright dawn of your word made flesh. Make us a people of this light. Make us faithful to your word that we may bring your life to this waiting world. Of the Father's love being gotten Ere the world began to be He is Alpha and Omega The source, the ending, he of the things that are that happen and that future he shall see. John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. 
He was with God in the beginning. Through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. There came a man who was sent from God. His name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all men might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent or of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only who came from the Father full of grace and truth. John testifies concerning him. He cries out saying, this was he of whom I said, he who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. From the fullness of his grace, we have all received one blessing after another. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, but God, the one and only, who is at the Father's side, has made him known. Lord, let your goodness appear to us, so that we, made in your image, may conform ourselves to your likeness. Lord, you have come to us as a small child, but you have brought us the grandest gift of all, the gift of God's eternal love. Amen. Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn King Peace on earth and mercy mild God and sinners reconciled Joyful all ye nations rise Join 
Luke chapter 2. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, to Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and of the lineage of David. He went to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, who was great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were, in the same country, shepherds abiding in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling cloth, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass that the angel were gone away from them into heaven. The shepherds said to one another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, as it was told unto them. O dearest Jesus, holy child, prepare a bed, soft, undefiled, a holy shrine within my heart, that you and I need never part. Amen.
Incarnate Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, send now your Holy Spirit into our hearts that we might receive you anew and always with a living faith. By that same Spirit, make us one with you, one with each other, and one in ministry to the world until you come in final victory. Amen. 